All right, so today I'm gonna to give you an update on my two red tail catfish. I bought them 54 weeks ago as tiny little babies. And <laughs> look at how big they're getting. They are getting huge. All right, so 54 weeks, I've been keeping track here on my little cheat sheet. I'm gonna turn off the, the pump here and I'm gonna start with a little bit of hand feeding here. Got a big chunk of cod. And they are definitely ready to eat. All right, buddy. <laughs> wow, they are super big. Look at them. <laughs> Whew. I can't believe how big they are. So I just did a water change yesterday. Wow, look at how big he is. It still blows me away. It's, it's kind of weird because uh, the day before the water change, I tried to feed them and they didn't eat anything at all. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Not even one little bit. Look at how big of a chunk they'll eat. <laughs> they'll like eat. It's almost like a, a little filet. It's unbelievable. And you know, some people say that once they get a certain size, you can actually feed them once a week. And look at how big these chunks are. I don't know if they're gonna eat all this, but these are really, I think I kind of overdid it today. <laughs> <laughs> these big huge chunks so we'll see how many they eat here but it seems like lately they've been eating a lot per feeding and it seems like if they eat a lot they just uh, go longer and longer between the feedings so if you feed them just a little bit they'll eat every little every single day but if you feed them a lot I got to the point where I started feeding them every day and then uh, they would absolutely refuse and some some days they would go like two or three days before they would eat again and now it seems like four days <laughs> before you know it, they'll be I'll just be feeding them once a week that's super low maintenance it's funny they'll eat and then they'll sit there and they'll kind of digest <laughs> depending on how big of a chunk I give them that was a pretty big chunk all right I'm gonna give them this huge thick chunk here <laughs> Wow, that's crazy. I have a few more. These are like, <laughs> look at how thick. I think I cut them a little bit too thick. This is like as thick as my finger here. <laughs> it's gonna take a while to choke those down. Wow. But I did find that if I have bigger pieces, it makes less of a mess. Uh, in the, the hot tub here. So if I have really fine pieces, I tend to have a lot of little stuff floating around, like this little piece right here. I have to go in with a net, pull it out after I feed them. Uh, yeah, they're doing great. The, the thing that kind of freaks me out is when they don't eat. It's kind of the, the thing that, you know, if you're not used to red-tailed catfish, it's kind of weird because you know, sometimes they won't eat at all for like days and days. Uh, usually, sometimes like four or five days they won't eat if they eat, a, eat enough food all at once. And I always thought at the beginning that, you know, there's something wrong with my catfish. I actually started going back to using Melafix. I do the Melafix Pond. I've been adding a cap full of this like once during the water change seems like it's seems like it's helping more it seems like it kind of snaps them out of it especially if you kind of overfeed them for a little bit and they're getting a little bit sluggish seems like that melafix will bring them right out of it so i'm just gonna throw the rest in here see if they eat it <laughs> i don't know if they'll eat all this that's a lot of fish so I actually ran out of mahi-mahi, uh, and I couldn't find it at the grocery store. I'm thinking maybe it's seasonal. So I'm just feeding um, cod and tilapia this time. All right, so I want to finish up with some underwater video.